Hello and welcome to another edition of BuzzFeed Unsolved Postmortem, a show where we answer your most pressing questions about the most recent episode of BuzzFeed Unsolved, which was Thelma Todd. All the questions we're answering today came from you guys via our BuzzFeed Unsolved Facebook page, our BuzzFeed Unsolved Instagram page, as well as directly on the video on Unbun. Bun. Hard to synchronize that when we're in different locations. <laughs> Well, you know what? It doesn't even matter. And you know what? Probably people wouldn't have even noticed if you didn't point it out. Yeah, uh, <laughs> well, I'm trying to figure out if I'm losing my grip a little bit here. Uh, are what you... do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're fine. We're doing great. I'm here with my good pal coffee machine again. <laughs> oh, man. Look who I'm with here. I'm with toilet paper. I always keep a roll of toilet paper on my bed in case I <laughs> shit my pants. <laughs> shit the sheets? Unless I... I browned my sheets. <laughs> oh, by the way, just like last episode, you'll realize we're not in our normal studio because we are still practicing social or physical distancing in light of the pandemic that's happening right now. Safer from home. Well, I haven't stepped outside in two weeks and I don't feel like it's taken a toll on me mentally at all. I'm gonna do my flowy dance because I feel great. <laughs> I'll do a little dance. We do a little flowy dance. Oh, oh. Like, the... oh. oh. oh I'm a noodle man. I'm a noodle oh. man. Oh, and I'm the noodle boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long week. Uh, alrighty, let's move on to Thelma Todd though. We're here to talk about murder. So, yes, we are. But before we do that, actually, another announcement. Let's get into some fan art this week. I'll take the first one. I, I This is a beautiful, beautiful, it's a needlepoint, is what it oh, is. Oh, wow. I believe, from Gab's Crafts on Instagram. But her real name is Gabby Landy. I actually remember, this has been out there for a while, I think, because I remember seeing this a while ago and being very impressed with it. The contrast in the shirts. I love the, uh, the, the detail achieved by simple thread. You know, I'm always impressed by, uh, you know, a little uh, thread and needle. Uh, this is uh, some crazy work. I don't even know how you start this. Okay, here we go. This looks like uh, a picture from, it doesn't look like, this is a picture from at gasly.ashley.art. Yeah, Her real yeah. name though is Ashley Lloyd. No relation to Christopher Lloyd, as far as I know. Anyways, she drew a picture of us in the field. We've got ghost. We've got Mothman, we've got Goatman, and- One thing I do want to point out here, by the way, sorry to cut you off there, but we really do have to admire the glutes on Goatman. That guy's got some buns on him. Oh, that's very good. I didn't notice that at all. On the Bun Network. Yeah, this is where you come for all your buns content. Uh, and really wonderful. Let's move on to some questions though. Thank you for the wonderful art. We'll do some more next week. Be sure to submit it and we'll be sure to have re a very relevant talk to that yes. art. Okay, this, uh, let's go to Instagram. This comes from uh, oat dot underscore dot man. It's a little face that he's drawn in his handle. That's pretty cool. Uh, that's uh, always hashtag, funny. Hashtag postmortem, can we have a hair tutorial from Shane? It consistently defies gravity. Personally, I think it's Alien's winky face. Uh, I put this in because I wanted people to know that what I do is I take a shower and I put a hat on for four to seven hours, and then I take it off. That's true. I've seen him do it. That's his. That's his routine. And his there hair just poofs up like that. It's crazy. I got and a lot of volume. Longer, well, you do, and it's ha it has a mind of its own as of late. How are we gonna? Are you getting? When are we gonna get haircuts again, Ryan? That's another thing. I don't know. Are we gonna emerge know. from this pandemic looking like Robin Williams and Jumanji? It's yeah. possible. I'm not I quite mean, I, sure. At the start of this whole thing, I did get rid of my mustache, but uh, it's going, it's coming back and probably the, I'm, maybe I'll just grow a big beard too, or as big as I, my beard can get. Let's take it over to Facebook. This yeah. is from Diego Label for the postmortem. Who do you think Tom Hiddleston would murder first if he was to murder someone? Who do you think Tom Hiddleston would murder first if he was to murder someone? I, I know exactly who. I'd love to hear. You clearly thought about this question, so let's have it. Okay. The elderly. What now? <laughs> Why? Why I would don't Tom know. Hiddleston murder the elderly? I don't know. I could see him being like, you know, in an old folks home, you know, like a, a nice orderly who visits with people, but then suddenly he just, you know, feeds them rat poison or something. 
Yeah, that's uh, the method. I just don't hear any kind of uh, motive. If he, if he were a murderer, doesn't he seem like that kind of guy? I mean, I guess, I guess, I guess so. I, I mean, I, I don't know if he would murder anybody. He seems like a nice uh, British gentleman. Oh, no, 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 no. And what I'm saying, to be clear, he is not a murderer. Tom Hiddleston is not a murderer. But if he hmm. was, I think he'd kill the elderly. Well, now I think Tom Hiddleston, the first person he'd murder is you. I think he'd kill you now. Oh, I'd love to see him try Hiddleston. Try your darndest to murder me. Oh, I think Hiddleston would kick your ass. Hiddleston versus Madej, comment, uh, leave your thoughts in the comments. Who wins that fight? Personally, I think Madej, oh no, I, I almost said Madej. I think Hiddleston would win that's, the fight. That's, think... yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Here's what I think. Hashtag Madej murked. That's what I think. Hashtag Madej murked if you think Madej would lose. <laughs> and then, uh, uh, and uh, then hashtag RIP Tom Hiddleston. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, let's get that trending. That'll be great. Let's move to a question that's actually relevant to the case. Uh, from Facebook, this comes from Alexis Anastasia Caspers, hashtag postmortem. Ooh, it's a long one. Here we go. I'm gonna have to take a deep breath in. And here we go. <sighs> Given how she had very little physical injuries and her 70% carbon monoxide blood saturations, I would say that she was likely knocked unconscious and placed in an enclosed space with the car on to finish the job. Which make what makes this strange is that typically a woman would commit murder through poisoning of any type, whereas a man typically takes the more physical approach to a murder. I would say that in my opinion, this likely could have been done by a couple, AKA her business partners who would have a lot to gain from Todd, no longer having a share of the profits. Roland and Jor, the most likely people to have carried out her murder, both had a motive. Roland took care of the physical part of the assault and his wife could fix Todd's hair and clothing and finish the job. It's too perfect of a setup. Plus, what if the key was placed into her purse before she was actually dead? They were the only other people who would have had a key to the property. Wow. Actually, this is a hell of a theory. That is crazy. I don't know if you remember from the episode, Shane, but Roland West actually said he felt that he was responsible for Todd's murder, but then that was found to be negligible because his testimony, I guess, was very inconsistent. Anyways, yeah. yeah. One of the things that was very perplexing to people, particularly investigators of the case, was that her hair was done very neatly, her makeup still looked good. She didn't look like she got into like a fight of any sort. It didn't occur to me that if Roland and Jewel killed her as a tandem, he would do the physical part and she would finish it off with the car and also make sure that it looked okay, everything looked okay. Possible, um, you would still would think you'd find some kind of evidence of Jewel or Roland tampering then, but I think this is good work, Alexis. I, I personally, have uh, Roland circled as my number one suspect, but you know, happened a long time ago. So I think it was a good theory. Yeah, it's really commendable. What, are you eating like peanut butter or something? <laughs> are you eating? Pump. This is from uh, Instagram, Pumpkin Soups. It says, hey, ghoul boys, tell my sister Colleen to watch your show. Maybe if you shout her out, she'll watch it. Worth a try, hashtag Shaniac, hashtag, but I'm glad Ryan's having fun. Colleen! Come on, Colleen, come on! Ryan can tell you, we have a lot of fun. We're fun guys. And I'll say this, we like to have a lot of fun. He's right. We're fun, we're fun guys. You should watch the show, Colleen. Ryan's fun, I'm fun. When we get together, boy, do we have fun. We like to talk about true crime, Colleen. I don't know if you're into that. The topic's not that fun, but us two, so much fun. Hope to see you in, in a future po uh, post-mortem, Colleen. Make sure you keep us updated on that. Take it away, Ryan. This comes from Teresa Mastro Donato. <laughs> oh, that's a cool name. Yep. Mastro Donato. Hashtag post-mortem. You didn't mention the one person who really could have done it. Her driver. In your timeline, you say he dropped her off between 3 and 4.15 a.m. She would have had enough time to get some peas and carrots if she was drunk to eat. If she was so drunk, her driver could have assaulted her and put her in the garage, hoping that it would make West look guilty. That is curious. He was the last person to see her. My guess would be that he was vetted by the authorities at the time because normally that's suspect number one, the last person to see the person alive, especially when said person is dropping her off at what would be eventually her last place. Maybe he fed those peas and carrots to her or they stopped off somewhere on the way home. Maybe she was like, I'm really drunk. Mm. 
I, I need, as all drunk people say, I need some peas and carrots. Um, can we stop oh, by a drive through Just a and every drive through. Yeah, every drive through has peas and carrots, and then he gives her the peas and carrots, and then takes her to the place. Or maybe he takes her back to his house. I don't know. It's it's an interesting theory. I don't know why I overlooked that, but I guess it's because I didn't see him as a suspect anywhere. Let's move on to the next one here. Uh, your, your question. Uh, this is from YouTube. <laughs> this is from Karis? Saris? Saris, Ireland. Shane looks like he put a roadkill raccoon on his head and tried to make it as normal looking as possible. Don't think we didn't notice what you're up to. Shane, trying to start some 2020 roadkill hair trends. Hashtag look roast boredom. I think <laughs> Here's the thing. You can't, you can't just simply put hashtag roast mortem if you're not even sure of it yourself. You have yeah, to be very you confident think? of it. You yeah, think? And it's not even a laughing matter if you're not going to commit to it. Also, you're, who says I think and then laughs like a maniac? I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start doing that. That's pretty fun. It's like I the think. Joker or the Riddler. <laughs> <laughs> like Ace Ventura. Yeah. I think. It's, uh, um, it's weird. Uh, this comes from uh, YouTube as well. Uh, this comes from Johnny Buong. Hashtag postmortem, as you are both something of celebrities yourself, <laughs> if you were murdered or disappeared, how would you prefer it to be done? How much of a mystery would you want to leave behind? Love y'all. I would love for someone to push me off the Hoover Dam. I want someone, this doesn't happen, but I want someone to say, hey look, it's Shane Madej from BuzzFeed Unsolved. And I want everyone to turn and start recording with their phones. And then I say, hi everybody. <laughs> and then someone goes, go surreal. And then they push me off the dam and then I'm done for. Here's what I want. And it's kind of similar to yours actually weirdly. Uh, and I promise you, this is actually what I wanted before you okay. said yours. All right. It wouldn't be the first time we've had a weird brain meld. Yeah, I would want me to be in one of those planes that could carry a banner you know like the banners in the sky oh uh, yeah i love and i would want it to say banners. hi i'm ryan bergara and then i want that person to a either throw me directly into a volcano which would be pretty sweet but not as funny because no one would really experience the splatter what i would like is for them to fly directly over the most populated pool in the united states which is probably somewhere in hawaii and I would want them to throw me off the plane, screaming and flailing as I fall into a relaxing pool in Hawaii and have me explode like a giant blood bag all over people who got front row seats. Uh, I think that'd be really spectacular. Anyways, good question. Uh, we should move on here. Hey, let's go to the final segment. Uh, this is from uh, Ashikaze. Ashikaze? Cool. I think Ashikaze sounds cool. All right, on Instagram. Instead of roast mortem, let's start toast mortem. For example, a toast to Shane Ryan and the whole Unsolved team for keeping us smiling every week, and a toast to the frontline healthcare service workers for all that they're doing during this crazy time. Also, a toast to Obi for being adorable, because how can you not? Sending love and virtual popcorn to you guys and everyone else out there. Now that is marvelous. Virtual popcorn, mm. sounds tasty. Not as tasty as real popcorn, but- I was gonna say, now that's just the as good. good stuff there. Well, that was a good, that, you know what, I like that segment. You can wrap it up on a, on a high. You gotta pick something to toast though, Ryan. And uh, you know, send in your toast mortems next week. This week I'd like to toast, toast. Cause I've been eating a lot of toast. God damn it, I was gonna time. do that. <laughs> you son of a- I got him. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's unbelievable. I, I love that. toast. In fact, toast I was gonna toast it. Well, I don't have any bread right now and I miss toast. And I'd like to make, I'd like to make a toast to the next time I have toast, which is hopefully yeah, manana. I, I will make a toast then to okay. everybody who is at home practicing social and physical distancing, doing your part in uh, stopping and, uh, or not stopping, flattening the curve. You're not gonna completely stop the curve, but you know, flatten everyone curve. that's, everybody that is doing their part to keep this at bay. I'm gonna toast to all of you. Also, I'll toast to popcorn. You know what, for next week, send in some photos of you staying at home, not socializing with people and losing your mind. <laughs> watching BuzzFeed Unsolved from the safety of your own home. Right, now hang on a second, right? What's coming up this week on BuzzFeed Unsolved True Crime? What is coming up this week on season six of BuzzFeed Unsolved True Crime, episode four? 
whatever's coming up this week, whichever episode is coming up this week, I'm not sure. Whichever one it is, it's probably pretty good. Hmm. Anyways, well, I'm gonna go make myself like a, a real... sandwich. Oh, yeah. Which kind of sandwich are you making? I don't know. I really don't know. Mm. I guess I'll tell you whichever one I choose when I do. Looking forward to it. Anyway, check that out this week. Uh, and that's it. That's it for postmortem this week. Thanks for joining us again in this crazy, crazy time. Stay home. Be safe. Wash your hands. Oh, yeah. That does it for this episode of BuzzFeed Unsolved Postmortem. Make sure you watch the episode this week and send in all your questions to the BuzzFeed Unsolved Facebook page, the BuzzFeed Unsolved Instagram page, or leave your comments directly on the video on Bun, and maybe you will. And we'll see you at the movies. And maybe you'll be on the next episode of BuzzFeed Unsolved Postmortem. Thank you.